Voyager 1, a spacecraft older than the Internet itself, had fallen completely silent. 15 billion miles from Earth, there was no signal, no telemetry, no comforting heartbeat of data. Just silence. A silence so absolute it felt as though the universe itself had drawn a curtain. For the scientists who had listened to Voyager for decades, it was terrifying. Had humanity's most distant explorer finally died alone in the dark between stars? And then, just as hope began to fade, a whisper returned. It wasn't a routine status update. It wasn't a simple reboot or error correction. What Voyager sent back shattered one of our most comforting assumptions, that the space beyond our sun was empty, quiet, and inert. Instead, Voyager revealed structure, motion, pressure, and boundaries. It had crossed into another side of space, and what it found was nothing like anyone had expected. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to truly leave the sun's protective bubble. Many believed its mission was essentially over. It would drift onward, instruments slowly failing, a golden relic slipping into eternal silence. But Voyager never stopped listening. In April 2024, after months of corrupted transmissions and unreadable signals, Voyager came back online. What it began transmitting shook the foundations of astrophysics. Beyond the heliopause, space is not quiet. It is humming. Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected persistent low-frequency oscillations, a steady rhythmic background permeating interstellar space like the pulse of a living thing. This was not random noise. It was structured, consistent, and everywhere Voyager could listen. But the hum was only the beginning. The spacecraft recorded sudden density spikes and pressure surges, shock fronts left behind by ancient supernova explosions. Voyager wasn't just moving through space. It was passing through layers of memory, regions shaped by stellar deaths that occurred thousands, perhaps millions of years ago. Interstellar space, it turns out, is not an empty corridor between stars. It is a vast, turbulent ocean of invisible currents, echoes, and storms. And Voyager is our tiny sailboat navigating weather humanity never knew existed. As Voyager pressed deeper, its instruments painted a picture no telescope could ever capture. Its magnetometer detected sharp misalignments where the galactic magnetic field twisted violently against the sun's fading influence, like tectonic plates grinding together. These patterns were not random. They were organized, suggesting the galaxy possesses a kind of magnetic skeleton, vast filaments of force shaping where matter flows and where it does not. Some regions deflect cosmic rays. Others funnel them into concentrated streams, invisible rivers of radiation racing through the dark. Voyager crossed one such threshold, where high-energy particles accelerated by distant black holes and long-dead supernovae slammed into the probe at near light speed. The change was abrupt, not gradual. Like stepping off a cliff. We once imagined the heliosphere as a gentle gradient, slowly dissolving into interstellar space. Voyager tells a different story. The boundary is not a shoreline. It is a wall. Beyond it, the rules change. By late 2023, the mission nearly ended for good. Voyager's signals became garbled. Data streams collapsed into nonsense. Instruments fell silent one by one. Engineers traced the problem to a corrupted memory module, likely struck by a cosmic ray, the very phenomenon Voyager was now studying firsthand. From 15 billion miles away, NASA engineers attempted the impossible. They rerouted Voyager software into backup memory, performing something akin to brain surgery across a 22-hour communication delay. Every command took nearly a full day to arrive. There were no second chances. Against all odds, it worked. 
In April 2024, Voyager came back to life. First engineering telemetry. Then magnetometer data. Then plasma sensors. One by one, its instruments awakened, each delivering something humanity had never possessed before, direct measurements from the true interstellar medium. What Voyager sends now is more than numbers. It is the first living map of interstellar space. Scientists are beginning to chart galactic topography, not of mountains and rivers, but of radiation zones, magnetic boundaries, and invisible cloudlets. Voyager has already passed through multiple interstellar clouds, denser pockets of gas and plasma drifting like unseen fog banks between stars. Each one has its own temperature, density, and magnetic orientation, like crossing continents with invisible borders. One day, these maps could guide future interstellar probes through safer corridors, using natural magnetic shielding to reduce lethal cosmic radiation. Even more profound, these structures may explain how stars are born. Filaments and pressure zones that funnel matter could be the cradles of future suns. Voyager is no longer just a probe. It is a scout and a cartographer of the unseen. We once believed interstellar space was uniform, a thin scatter of particles stretched across light years. Voyager shows something entirely different. A dynamic environment with layers, pressure fronts, eddies, and storms. Its plasma instruments record sudden changes in temperature and energy, distinct pockets of invisible climate, each with its own character. Voyager has also begun mapping the edges of the local bubble, a massive cavity hundreds of light years wide carved by multiple supernova explosions millions of years ago. Its readings show abrupt density shifts and distorted magnetic fields, cosmic scars left by stellar violence. In these regions, Voyager may be detecting echoes of ancient explosions, shockwaves that have traveled across the galaxy for millennia before brushing against human-made metal. Perhaps the most unsettling discovery is this. Silence does not exist out there. Voyager's sensors detect continuous resonances, frequencies that never fully fade. As the spacecraft moves, these tones subtly change, as if it is passing through different zones of vibration. They are not radio signals. Not background noise. They resemble the resonance of the interstellar medium itself, a cosmic symphony played across plasma and magnetic fields. Some scientists believe this hum reflects how the galaxy organizes itself. Others admit we may not yet have the language to describe what Voyager is hearing. Whatever the truth, Voyager is no longer just observing the galaxy. It is moving through it, becoming part of its rhythm. Voyager 1 was launched to explore, not to conquer or to search for life. It was humanity's whisper into the void. A machine built to ask questions, and to listen. What it is revealing now is a message we never expected. The heliosphere was not simply a boundary. It was a cradle. Beyond it lies an environment shaped by ancient explosions, invisible currents, and magnetic bones left behind by stars long dead. Right now, a golden-plated messenger drifts 15 billion miles away. Still listening. Still mapping. Still translating the whispers of the galaxy into something we can understand. Every pulse Voyager hears, every filament it crosses, brings us closer to understanding where we truly are. Maybe the greatest discovery Voyager has made is not about space at all. Maybe it's about us. If you've made it this far, you're not just watching, you're listening. Tell us in the comments what you think Voyager 1 will discover next. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay with Waves Discovery. Because this isn't just another space story. It's the beginning of a much deeper one. And the next signal could arrive at any moment.